Yank people. River Hobo here. Down on Norman. Kind of chilly down here today. It's like 33 degrees. Going to start out from frozen cut perch. Regular Santee rig. Drift sinker. Float. Just going to back in the state park. Just going to drag around in here a little bit. So we're going to use five drift rods for right now and two planer boards. It's just more homemade planer boards. Deer hunting there. Plex glass, a little bit of foam and fluorescent duct tape. Both sides gives you a pretty good spread. It's enough for one person to take care of. It's about 40 feet right here where we're at. I'm gonna run about half a mile an hour. Feed those out. It'll get about 30 feet behind the boat, lock her in. It's pretty, hardly any wind, which that'll probably change. But water's it's got just a little tint to it, not much. And I think it's 40, 51 right here in the state park. Let's give it an hour or so in here. We might move up the river and anchor a little bit. There's a pull down, look at that. I think we got it hooked up here. Oh yeah, got the sun right in our eyes as usual, but we got a fish on here. I just heard the rod squeaking. Way on the planer board all the way up to the rookie. And this is my first catfish of the year. First one I caught. Hook. I can get it in the boat. Hit it pretty good. Sorry about the sun. About the sunshine right in your eye. Getting ready to see him. Getting ready to see him. He's going down now. Is down there, That's about a seven. If I can get him up here, it ain't too much light. Sun in your eye. Yeah, and it might be a little bigger than seven. Land this booger. We're gonna put him back here and go get the group. Let's see if we can get him in the boat. Got him. Unblocked the sun out there. Whole circle hook got him right in the corner now. Old Gamakatsu octopus circle hook. Feed off. There he is. Fat fish. 
about 30 foot of water. There's the first one. Ain't been out here long. Starting to warm up already. You can see. Old piece of cut white perch. Let's see if we can get another. Marking a few fish down there. That's what it come on. Come on, come on like a tail chunk. Yeah, we had that going right here. Yeah, he's still going. We got him. We got him. We got him. Sun ain't in your eyes this way. I think you're gonna be that big. You're good to eat fish, bro. Stay in there. Oh, you're a good fish. Are you a little bigger than what we caught for you? See if we can land him here. There we go. Good eating size, old blue. Yes, good eating Same rod, the first one come on. A little piece of perch tail. Still got the bait, so we're just gonna rehook it. A lot of bait down there. You see, a lot of bait, 39 foot of water. Old stomping grounds. Used to catfish this years ago. Dad hadn't been back in here in a while. Just feeding this one out. Got another one on here. I just feeding it back. Get ready to put the planer board on it. Just get ready to put the planer board on it. Look, it's peeling. So set the hook. Here's another one. Seems like he liked the body chunks today. 
course, we ain't been out here long enough to really tell. Try to keep him out of these lines. Too late, I guess. Been about there, did Yeah, he's already got one of them. It's a matter of way. Yeah, about the same size. Good fish, though. I mean, Norman, Norman is averaging, on average, a little bigger blues. In tournaments, people catching 50s and 60s. 25 and 30s used to be the big fish. Now, Used to come down here and you catch three, four, five pounders, pretty regular. But now, it seems like your average fish is seven, eight pounds. Look at him down there. Say hello, people. Okay, I got hooked. So we got hooked. So now we're gonna come in the boat. We're gonna come in the boat. It looks like all I had to do was bring one rod. That's what we caught all three fish on. One rod here. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna get it back out of here. Another one. Pretty good. Just a nice eater blue. It's cause I'm putting them all in the live well. I mean, I'm gonna take them all home. I might let them loose here in a minute. We're just going to keep easing. I'm kind of right in the middle of the creek right now. First fish kind of come off the creek ledge. I was like in 28, 30 foot of water running the ledge and it hit. And I just made a circle at the landing. Picked the second one up on the point of the landing. And then this third one comes in deeper water off the land where all that bait was at. Yeah, we got one bite over here toward this corner. Got another perch on. There's a catfish playing over there on that corner. Maybe he'll hook up here in a second. Right over there. Here, here's, one. here's one. Oh, we got this one. That over there is still riding. I believe it's a little channel cat and he's hooked up. Then this one went down. Went through a school of shad right there. It's hard to catch a perch. This is quite as big as the first three we caught, but it's another fish. There he is. They're spinning around. Size right there. About a four pounder, three, four pounder. That's the way it goes. You run around, hit a little pocket of perch or a little pocket of shad, and you got a couple fish feeding on it. If you can catch a spot where the hybrids are feeding on them. On the shad, you really can catch the catfish. Them catfish lay underneath them hybrids and pick off them little ones they run through and stun and kill, come fluttering to the bottom. I 
That's the chickiest one. I believe it's a little riding on it. Yeah, it's a little. I thought it was a little and grabbed it while it goes. It was riding around on it. I bet this is a little one. It's probably a channel cat. It could be even sometimes a perch, a big perch. I get on there. But no, it's a little catfish. I thought there's a little one hanging around on that thing. And that's actually, a, it is a little champ cat. He's just whisker hook right there on his whisker. They should have kept dragging around. Maybe a big 50, 60 pound blue would have grabbed him. Just a good fish. Sorry about the wind noise. It'd be nice to have the net on. Yeah, it'd be pretty fun to net a big old blue flathead. I don't care. Down, so it might be a good fish. I'm gonna get a look at him, hopefully, before I mess the net. He's staying down pretty good right here. Bubbling on us. Working around here. Let's see if we can get the net out of here. Pink rattle. Let's see if we can get him in the boat here. Oh, yeah. he's in the boat. Right in the corner now. Old Kama got some. Got another perch head. Yeah, we get a weight on this. seen any of my other videos, you know scales are my nemesis. 
Either the batteries ain't working. This ain't. I think I bent this hook. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm on kilograms. That fish is 22 pounds. A lot better than 22 pounds, I can tell you that. Well, let's get him up here and get a look at him. There he is. He's a pretty catfish. Want a pretty clue? Yep. Yeah. Might just oh 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 do the blue spin on that. Blue spin, blue spin. Let's put him back right here. Yeah, talk to him. Say, hey, crazy guy out here in the boat. Won't y'all come and help me? Yeah, he's a crazy guy in the boat. I need help. Here we go. Thank you, old buddy. Here's one going down. That second one, I was sitting there like an idiot, play with my phone a while ago. I heard a rod just creaking, creaking. I'm looking around, don't see it. Look back up just in time. There's one over here on the left side of me. This thing is just buried. And it just pops up right when I see it. It's crazy. But, you know, I started out earlier down Duke Pier. I said, well, let's just go up, hit a little bit of the muddy water, see if there's any fish out there. Here we are. I like to see that first one that hit. Here's another one. 
Okay. This is a rod I said was really creaking a while ago. I couldn't figure out which one it was, so I looked up. And it was gone. And it just popped up. Might be the same fish, you never know. And I have just baited it and thrown it out there. I don't know, it's just something about catfishing. I love it. I love drifting. They just something about a rod rolling over when you anchor it. I mean, it's, I don't know. It's just fun. All of it's fun. Just a good one. They get out here in this. This is stain water here. Oh. Quick release. She let me back, and I did. I did. Well, I've been sitting here thinking about going to the house. Spotted bass on it, and that don't kill the fish. So this is the first fish on the new rod. Here. If we get it in, it'll be the first fish on the new rod. I was trying not to get that line, and I got right in. sitting here doing my CWD survey for the deer kill and heard the rod squeaking. I'm gonna weigh that rascal just to see what he weighs. I'm guessing about 15, 16 pounds. He's right at 17. So counting the fish grippers, he's probably about 16. Oh, 
get him up here. There he is. Pretty good fish. Let's let him go. That's, I think that's number eight for today. Oh, I think tags are getting wet. Slimy. Got to have him play for turkey season, I hope. Well, folks, going to call it a day. River hobos down here on Lake Norman. I think we caught seven or eight, four or five drifting, four anchored up. But it's been a good day. Caught most everything on white perch again. So please hit the thumbs up on the video and please uh, subscribe. I need all the subscribers I can get. River Hobo, signing out.